In last month's video, we talked about the basics of sorting in Excel. So this month, I thought we'd talk about some of the more advanced options that you've may, maybe never taken time to explore. The first one we're going to talk about is making your sorts case sensitive. So here, I'm going to change this sales rep ID so that it's in lower case, while all the others are still in upper case. Then we'll select our sort area, do a custom sort. And we're going to go up here to the options until we want our sort to be case sensitive. Tell it that we have headers. And we'll say that we want to sort by sales rep ID and then by date. I'm going to click OK. And now you can see that the degrowth that's in lowercase got sorted before all the degrowths that are in uppercase even though this transaction was dated the 15th and the others are dated before that. So the next thing I want to talk about is sorting by column. Normally when we're sorting it's rearranging your rows but you can have it arrange your columns for if you want to. So I'll select my sort area, go back to the custom sort, We'll turn off case sensitive now. And here in the orientation section, we want to choose sort left to right. I click OK there and tell it we want it to look at row one to evaluate the sorting. And then we just need to delete this extra level that was left over from our last sort. I click OK and you can see that all of our columns are now sorted in alphabetical order. The only thing we didn't get is that this cell formatting over here stayed in place instead of moving along with the data, but that's not a big deal. You also have the option of sorting by color. So over here I've made another version of this same list where I've color coded our sales regions. So to sort by color, again we're going to select our area, custom sort, And then we'll say that we want to sort by region. And then here in the sort on, uh, we're going to choose cell color because that's what I've uh, what I've formatted was the background color. You can also choose font color. The cell icon sorting works the same way as sorting by color, um, but you use it if you've used conditional formatting to apply uh, to to apply icons to cells. So we'll choose cell color. And then over here, you choose the first color that you want uh, you know, for, for your sort order. And then choose on top or on bottom. We'll add a level and we'll keep repeating that until we have chosen all of our colors in the order that we want them to appear. Now when I click OK, you can see the spreadsheet gets resorted in that order. The last option I want to talk about is custom sort orders. So we already have our area selected, so we'll go back to custom sort. We'll delete these extra levels. We still want to sort by region in this case. Change our sort on back to values, and our sort order becomes custom list. If I sorted by region normally, they would end up in alphabetical order, but maybe I want them in a different order. So I'm going to click on New List up here, then we come over to the list entries, and then we can put them in whatever order we want. So North, you hit Enter to get to a new line. You want each, uh, each item on a separate line. So East, South, and West. And you click the Add button, to add that list, you'll see it appears over here. And also, Excel has several built-in custom lists. So you've got your short days of the week and your full days of the week, your short months and your long months all come uh, pre-built in Excel. So we'll go back and choose our new custom list. Click OK and OK there. And you'll see now we get sorted in our custom order. So there could be lots of uh, Lots of applications where that would be useful to get things sorted the way you want. 
Anyway, those are the sorting options that we're looking at today. I hope you find this video useful.